Or to try and turn some popular video games into miniature little Lego sets. I started out with four 16 by 16 base plates, making a nice 32 by 32 base plate. Then I was like, well, if I'm going to try and make these little miniature Lego sets, I'm going to need some figures. So I decided to try and attempt to make some figures. So starting off with was this popular game and I made these two characters well kind of just adapted them again not going to tell you the names I'm hoping you can sort of guess who they are if not we'll get to it at the end of the video then I made this bus the battle bus hopefully that sort of narrows down what game it is I know it's not the best bus in the world but it's small I did the best that I could do uh, it doesn't even stand up. on to the next lego set and that was this red Among Us character. This took me a lot longer than I care to mention, but I was really pleased with the way in which it turned out. I also made it with a little, you know, hidden secret, and that's why it took me a little bit longer trying to figure it out. So, bam, there it is. It comes apart, and you can see it's inside. Nice. For the next one, I'd like to say these took me a long time, but truth be told, they was on my shelf because, you know, they're just from Minecraft. Now for the last one, I want to make a Mario set and I didn't have any figures so I managed to pick these up from Argos and there's the best, well this little figure, that black rocket I made it myself, but this one I managed to get from Argos for like £6.25, I'm hoping by the end of this video I've managed to get something else, but we'll see, I can feel an Amazon purchase coming on again. So let's get started on the first build. And the first build is going to be the one with the battle bus. Let's go. I don't plan any of my builds out. So you might notice that some of the bits that I put down and take back off. But that's just the way it is. I just keep trying and hoping for the best result. I built up the area at the back. And then I added some rocks and some snow. And then the bus. And then you couldn't even see any of it anyway. So it was a waste of time. But still, I know it's there. Never mind. I added the build in. And then a little bit of a lake. Just tried to capture loads of different little bits of Fortnite. All in one thing. That's the first set all complete and I'm not going to lie, it turned out a lot better than I was expecting. I thought it was really cool. I tried to capture all the different details from Fortnite. It is a bit of a jumble, but still, and I don't think the buildings are exactly like that of what they are in the game. But it just adds a little bit of cool character with a little fort. And this set with a view to be able to expand it, so I do add a 16x16 16 base plate to the roof, which you'll see in just a second. And I'm hoping that you guys will let me know in the comments what are the four different video games that are really popular, or maybe not even that popular. Ones that I probably don't even know about. I should make next hopefully if you enjoy this video right let's get in to the second quarter I did not record a lot of this video and what I mean by that is a lot of the stuff I made off camera because it took so long trying to figure it out so I just placed them in but as you can see here I am just figuring out the tiling and the base layout but I was super pleased with the way in which this one turned out can you guess what it is yet it's among us and there's the figure all cut in half I think this looks really cool. This was based on the reactor room. I know it's not an exact representation of the room because I like to add my own little twist to it because I think, you know, I'm making my own content. Why not try and make it my own? If I'm honest, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I think this one turned out better than the actual real Among Us game. The little figure is just mounted on a one by one stud that you can just remove and then you can pop the figure back together and then you can take the figure away from the set if you want to use it. I don't know what you want to use it for, it's a Lego figure, it should just sit on display. That's what Lego's for, isn't it? Just leave it on display. I'm only joking, I love playing with all my Lego sets, me and my little girls, we play with them all the time. They're super fun to play with. Once again I added a few studs to the top so that we could add a 16x16 16 16 base plate so we can expand it at a later date, hopefully soon. But for the next set we're going to be using Steve. Hi Steve. I added a little bit of water and then I also added a little cave. I thought that would be really cool. But by the end of the video you'll see in just a second you can't even see the cave. But once again I know it's there so it's not wasted time. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. But I was actually really pleased with the way in which this landscape turned out because I, I thought that it was going to be quite boring you know. Because it all had to be just blocked. Took a few little figures from the actual Minecraft set that I had lying around. And I thought this looked really cool. Again quite busy but super excited about it added some brickwork to the top to make it sort of encapsulated so that once the plate's on it just makes it look like it's all actually in a cave anyway so it makes it even more fun we got the tnt 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 on there as well I don't know if you can use slopes in this um, minecraft situation i added only four slopes in and it was for the sand let's remove the top and look it's beautiful I actually think this one is my favourite one that I've made so far. I love the way that it's textured and the colours pop. And we've got a little froggy, the little froggy, and even a waterfall. It's just got it all. But anyway, I don't think I can postpone it for much longer. It is time to get on with the fourth and the final set the Mario set. I've been dreading this one. I don't even know if I've got enough parts to do it, but we've got to do it. 
sort of did skip a lot of this footage because of built a lot of the characters from the actual sets and to be fair I mean anyone can buy them and build them so it wasn't really too great but still let's take a look at the end result of all of it I am super pleased with the way in which this lot turned out I love it I love it let's take a look at the Yoshi the lock not the mock the lock the Lego original content well there it is guys that's the end result on that one I mean I think it turned out great still but unfortunately I can't say it's all my own because it is from Lego sets just placed in to my sort of build but I really do hope that you enjoyed this whole process guys I'm super pleased with it I would love for you to let me know in the comments if you would like this series to continue well to make it into a series let's make part two and let's find out the next four video games if you could let me know the suggestions in the comments and i will hopefully be picking some of your suggestions and making an additional four of these builds but as promised at the beginning of the video i did say i will tell you about these characters did anyone figure out who they're supposed to be so this was supposed to be ninja the streamer ninja and this was the best i could come up with and the next character did anyone figure out who it was supposed to be it's probably not the best but it's supposed to be marshmallow and it's just made with a stormtrooper and just a little cylinder thingy on its head with some eyes yeah i tried i tried but that brings us to the end of the video guys once again thank you so much for watching i really do hope that you enjoyed this build and yeah please consider liking and if you're not subscribed and you want to see more and you want to see part two please consider subscribing well that's it from me for now guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next one, bye for now.